Let me begin with this. Scott talks a lot right here, right now. Random and Reckless Entertainment gives us the space, the do it all, along with Brainstar Media. Use your brain, be a Brainstar. What's up, brother? Donuts to Depression, to volume depression. two. It's to depression. Donuts to de- donuts to depression. Yeah. Donuts from, to from depression. donuts to depression. From donuts to depression. From donuts to depression. A bounty hunter. A bounty hunter. So how you doing? I was just going, run away train, never coming back. It's interesting to me when you you come in here and you bust out these random tunes that we all haven't heard for 15 years. Yeah. And you're like, that was a good song. No, it wasn't a good song. <laughs> way, we it? all had forgotten about was it. Was it a good song? Until, I don't know. Well, I mean, it depends. You, you, I can you go splice away them. anywhere. <laughs> run away, but you don't. I, was probably I just nice remember they were missing we're kids. We're slaughtering the song, and we're gonna get we're going to get chastised for it. We are. I hope we don't have to pay. I, I bet you I'm so off key. We don't even have to pay licensing. <laughs> it's actually it's actually a cover now. Yeah. No, no. It's just a tribute. They won't even you be just able need to. A tribute it's song. not even in the same thing. So okay. they won't even like, be able to sue us. It's so bad. All the lyrics, the key. Yeah, that's a, that's a mm-hmm. new song. Mm-hmm. Completely, mm-hmm. completely. Mm-hmm. Donuts to depression. Yeah. What are you gonna? What do you got for us today? Shit, I don't even know. I'm just gonna go right off the head again. Okay, let's go. And let's fire go. Away. It's a bounty hunter story. Bounty hunter story. Here we go. <sighs> Okay, here we go. I'm all ears. Okay. So I was having to uh, work with a person I'd never worked with on a case. Okay. What happened was, is there was this gentleman who like, and he was a big, big, big dude. In other words, like, I don't know if he was on America's Most Wanted or if he was, but I know he was Washington Most Wanted on that show. And I think he was national and he was a big deal. And And you were chasing him down. Now, a couple other people were chasing him. And then in that business, you kind of sometimes people give up on files and there's people that don't write a file as hard or do it the way you want. So you get, you know, I can't get him. It just moves down the line. So I get this guy like third way in. And like, I think I was the third person to get him. And um. The way I got him, though, is I I actually didn't get him. What happened was is I had an affiliate who was a bondsman, a friend who was a bondsman, and she needed to get the gentleman that was this guy. Okay, this. Hold on a second, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Holding. I'm having a full on attack right now. Oh, get this on camera. No. This is perfect. Dude. Oh, my. We interrupt this program to bring you an announcement. Eric's having a full-on attack right now. I literally am having a shaking, like, um, over, over crazy bipolar, like, rush of attack. Like, I felt it coming when I was driving here, but, like, I've been controlling it all day. And I'm sat here, and I couldn't control it. It overwhelmed me. It took me over. Does the coffee help or no? No. Fuck <laughs> no. It's supposed to calm me down. How does caffeine calm you down in a scenario like that? Um, I don't know. It's just an ongoing fucking addiction that is because I'm so low sometimes. I just have to have it. It's it's uh, I've quit everything else. You know what I mean? Besides like, you know, you should try some sugar. Well, I put five pumps in every glass. So, so <laughs> caffeine, sugar, caffeine. Yeah, it has no effect it whatsoever has no. on, you know, I came out here and I was shaking. Actually, my, I had a weird ringing in the ear, too. On the way here. I'm telling you, though, this this is a wave of not just caffeine and normal Ericness. This is a wave. And I, I was like, blow the take, blow the take. But I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I should try to stay in it, huh? Well, you should. Should I stay? Re- well, because the reason I say that you should tell the story. Not that I know I'm anything shaking. about it. Well, then put it down. If what? you're still on this table, no. I'm going to be very upset with you. Okay, here's the deal. Mm-hmm. I want to hear it. Mm-hmm. We're all here. Well, by uh, all of us, I mean me and you. Yeah. And I've been waiting for like <clears throat> two weeks to hear this story. You have? You, yeah, you were hyping this big old crazy story up. No, this, this is a different old. story. Yeah, well, then yeah, you're bait and switching me. 
I've got so many stories. I know, but you, you said, dude, I got this one for you. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's hear it. And then now, now you've changed it on me. Well, I don't want to go into that one. That other one was so heavy. Okay, cool. So you big guy, uh, America's most wanted guy. Oh, the big guy, America's most wanted America's guy. America's most wanted yeah. and, and Washington's most wanted. So he's wanted by a lot of people and you're third on the, on the list down to try to get him. And then you have a, an affiliate that's, that's trying to nab him. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this bondsman is trying to get him. Okay. And she's having a hard fucking time. And she knows a guy who is already kind of worked the file, but I've caught a bunch of people for her in the past. So she brings me on board and I end up working from this guy down South. Um, that's from down South and he ends up being a bondsman up here and owning a company up here. Actually, I think he was even in Shelton for a little bit. Great guy, really cool guy. And, um, but we never worked together and we end up working together. Okay. So we team up on this dude. Who's this America's most wanted guy. Now keep in mind, I've got, he's got a guy that's working with him that he's known. And then it's me and him. So it's a three man team. Okay. And all we're going to do is we're going to go up to like Aurora and look it out and check it out and blah, 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 and see what happens. And we start feeling it out, working the file. One thing goes to another. The next thing you know, we are in a full investigation where we're kind of all consumed for the next, I would say, four or five days. And the way this thing played out was he was a, he was a crackhead who was just running and gunning, running and gunning. And he, God bless him, but he would just kind of use people and hop from person to person. And I want to tell you his name, but I can't, I'm just not going to. It's probably not good. It's not good to it's say. Not good PR, is it? Yeah, we've decided not. So you're to Aurora. Talk. So you're north. You're North Seattle. Is that what? That's... Well, we'd went up and we'd looked all over yeah. Aurora and all over around Aurora. And Some rough streets up there. It was really rough streets, <laughs> and <laughs> we were cool though. We were just looking around, doing stuff. But then our investigation basically came down to this situation that I'm going to tell you about. Okay, so we had through our two to three day investigation found a girlfriend who he was supposedly coming back and seeing. Now people chained, chased him to the East Coast. We were gonna head to the East Coast at one point in, that, in those two or three days, but we decided not to because of some shit that we got from one of my snitches. So my snitch was, was knew this girl who was hanging out with him. Then the dude calls me out of nowhere. The dude you're looking for. The dude we're looking for, okay. Well, we had went to this girl's house and looked around and um to make a long story short make a long story longer we <laughs> we went through the front door but it, there was a there was a a kid there it wasn't it, he wasn't a child he was like 18 19 years old he was an adult but he had invited us in and, and we knocked on the door and we said you know your 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 mom you know might be hanging out with this guy and we want to see if he's here and da, da 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 da. We were just knocking and talking this door and it wasn't some big, deep investigation. You know what I mean? Um, besides just trying to locate, but one of my snitches came up with this, this door. So we went and knocked this door and, and I think it was, it might've been queen Anne. It might've been up on queen Anne. Only the finest of criminals in Queen Anne. Only the finest of criminals <laughs> in Queen Anne. <laughs> you know, you're, typically, you're embezzling and things of that nature. Exactly, exactly. So we went to Queen Anne and we knocked on this door. And what I remember um, in my haze of anxiety right now, um, I'm trying to stay focused. You're pushing me. It's hard. Somebody's got to push you. Somebody's got to push me. So in you're my always haze pushing of, me. That's true. <laughs> we're gonna, we said we were going to be vulnerable. That's right. And what a, I mean, look at the title of this. Yeah. <laughs> Donuts to, div oh my God, it's almost apropos. Fortuitous. So you get this guy, mm -hmm. or you're at, looking for this guy. You're in Queen Anne. Yeah. And you're at a door. Mm -hmm. and, and no, what happened is we go to Queen Anne and we knock on this door and this kid answers. And I get to talking to the kid while he's just befriending me. And he's, uh, 
he's a guitar player. I wanted to build up the story bigger, but I'm just going to go for it. Um, he's a guitar player and we get to talking and Randy, I can't do it. Oh, come on. I can't do it. I, come on. No, it's you're right so, there. You're like, he's a guitar player. Randy, I can't even think. You I just need a name drop take. him. You got a name drop. We can't do no take. This is like, say, so think about this. This is the <clears> last <throat> piece of tape. You know how some time ago you were talking with uh, our friend Blaine and how yeah. you only have so many takes on you're the tape. You're not going to give me a new take, Kay? are you? Do you understand? There's only so many takes you can get before that tape is ruined. This is the last one that we have. This is digital, bitch. This is, well, don't. You, don't, you don't know that. Inside this digital bitch is a tape. <laughs> oh you're so God. close to it, man. I mean, you're so close to it. The people want to know. <laughs> the pe- and and mm-hmm. the people want to know mm-hmm. what you're experiencing right now. In telling these stories, which should be second nature to you, right? I but. don't know. I th- I had this other one planned, and I wanted to steer away from it. And then I went into this other one, and it's creating a bunch of anxiety. I never thought these stories it make any sense. Would create a bunch of anxiety. You're and fighting it, the good fight, yeah, at the time, and then you quit mm-hmm. because you realized it wasn't a good fight. Yeah, and now you're telling the story. Right. What's the harm in that? All right. Okay. So then I went and I I I told the I I, I was talking to the kid, and we were searching the house. Okay, that's what I remember, and. When I went down into his room, he had guitars and all this stuff. And and I, in a nutshell, I ended up asking him, you know, if he could have any guitar in the world, what would he have? And he was like, I would have like a Fender Strat. And I'm like an American one. He's like, oh, hell yeah. And so we started walking upstairs. And when we were walking upstairs, I turned to him and we were getting ready to leave. And I said, if you call me, when this dude, if this dude shows up, because he he basically said he thinks he thinks that his mom's hanging out with this guy and his mom's smoking crack too, and and he's hanging out in the house and kind of living there downstairs and his room was clean and you could tell he was trying he was a good kid. And on the way out the door, I said, "Hey man, I'll buy you an American Strat. Just call me when he comes over, and then I'll come take him out of your life, and then that'll be it." Big wagers. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Right. I never thought it would come to fruition, but we kept looking, we kept going, and, and then we sat up on that house. We we kind of started sitting up on that house a little bit off and on for the next day or two, and then we got a call from him. And we ended up sitting across a ravine. So if you look down into this ravine, it was weird. You'd come to the end of a dead road, like up there on Queen Anne, you know, those nice places where you just come to a dead end. And there was a house on each side and then a ravine that they shared, obviously, with the house down low. And that house down low was the house that, that we had, that I, we'd searched earlier. So we went around the other side and set up on the other so side. you weren't in plain sight? No. And we used this ravine as a drop and we got to know the neighbors and they bought us pizza and oh and yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking block parties. <laughs> absolutely. They took care of us and let us use their bathroom and and stuff like that. And um all of a sudden that kid called and he said, I know he's coming over, I know he's coming over. Um this then ensued into about a I would say a thirteen to fifteen hour wait where we'd sat on it he's coming over well in three days yeah that's how it always is you know <laughs> yeah. and we just it might even have been longer it was i remember it being brutal and i remember i was asleep when it happened because i had fall, I, it was my turn to sleep i had fallen asleep and in the middle of one of my last the, the last sleep i get a nudge and he's like there's our boy right there huh and i look up and boom we see a figure walk in there and um park or you know the get out of the car and walk in there because he's nudging me you know as the car's pulling up and and uh we're full geared ready to go and right when he walks in the door we get a bzz, 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 bzz. and it's the kid and the kid's like he's here he's here he's here he's here well that confirms what you were seeing then right right so then we we go in a three man we go down up through the ravine we put one guy on the I can't remember his name on the back door. And then now I'd had a conversation with this guy earlier in between all this. And this guy was like, what thinks, what makes you think you're going to catch me? And (laughs) you you only knew you you won't (laughs) fucking catch me and all this shit. And, and 
I wish I could tell you it was a deep run at him, but I wouldn't I didn't want to go into it on this story. I just wanted to tell you the story about this kid. So what happened then is I I went around the front and um the guy that was with me, he 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 hunkered down below and behind me and I opened the door and when I went in the front door I went to the right and out of the left of my because the hallways was, was to my right and to the left I see the kid standing down the stairs that goes to his room there's there's downstairs to like a basement you know off to my left and I see him standing there and then I kind of come around the corner and I open that door and um I had told that guy, I had said the last that like to be all movie like, I had told that guy last I'm gonna set next time I talk to you, I'm gonna say, Gotcha, motherfucker. That's all you're gonna hear. <laughs> Fucking drama dramatic and, and he all that. Right? Hung up the phone and when I opened that door, I heard him in there and I literally just reached up with my taser out and my buddy behind me, and I just opened that door ever so slightly and pushed it open with my taser. And they were laying right from me to you on the bed, smoking crack. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> and I said, gotcha, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what was the look on his face, though? Or he, their face? I mean, they're, I mean, they're mid-crack. You know, yeah. Mid-crack. He looked at me and said, no fucking way. And I remember getting him up, and um, he was cool. I put 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 the the cuffs behind him took him out um called the bondsman the bondsman was ecstatic because the bondsman was about away from paying like 85 grand i think is what it was jesus yeah so from three guys like me and the other dude split it and then paid the third guy out like a couple hundred bucks a piece so the kid made like 500 bucks and i think we caked like I think we each made like what on an 8500 we, we each made four grand or something well and you bought the kid a guitar right I, I yeah I ended I mean you found one <laughs> well here's the deal and I told my partner this I said if we catch him I made the deal I spoke for it and he's like that's cool um and uh he got me the gig a little bit you know uh he he was like um even though he didn't know me I think he he kind of worked with the other bondsman a lot and said hey let's use him a little bit real quick so it, I just kind of didn't bitch about the fee I just but I did end up going and um but you got the guy. I got the guy. Yeah. I got the guy. He may have even kicked down and helped me with that guitar. I don't know what had happened, but I remember going to uh, Music 6000. Shout out Music 6000. Yeah, shout out Music 6000. <laughs> I wasn't going to go to like Guitar Center or anything. Shout out Guitar Center. Wasn't it, Did I just slam Guitar Center well, on the show? To be fair, Music yeah. 6 is like, that's our hometown. It's kind of our, our hometown. hometown. It's where people, we, we yeah. try to give it to them. Absolutely. So, and so. Shout out again. Yeah, shout out again. <laughs> yeah. Give us some, give us some love, bitches. Jesus. Yeah. We and would you, love to have we, We'd love guitars. <laughs> and all things music. <laughs> you got to see this fucking episode and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> that fucking guy is not Those allowed in the never, store. <laughs> We're fucking not even allowed in the fucking store anymore. <laughs> we do not want to. What these people say do not necessarily stand for us at Music 6000. Real talk. Every, a gonna, lot of this gear came yeah, from there. Right. And every time we say it, they're going to want us to go, boop, 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 go back through it. It'd be but, like music. Yeah. Good. Anyways, I went in there and I talked to Smitty. Shout out to Smitty. Oh, shout and, out to Smitty um, for sure. And he hooked me up with a Fender right out. I, it was the only time like, you know. I, I never go in there for myself and just do that kind of purchase. I don't know why, but you know, I just, <laughs> you prefer the, never mind. Never mind. Never <laughs> you know? Mind. And so then he, I, I'm, he's like, okay, you're buying this badass guitar. And, um, I went and gave it to the kid and I don't think the kid believed me. And I didn't tell the kid anything. I just said, I'd be in touch with him. Um, you know, and I had to act like I act like I hate him and didn't know him when we were there. I was like, why you know how we were here earlier i yelled at him you know we were we were here Sell earlier and you didn't it. say me shit shit to me you know and the kid was like later on when i was talking to him on the phone he's like man you were fucking scaring me i thought you were serious you know i was like no you got to do that and he's like i started getting it afterwards but when you were doing it i started I like do you realize you were my narc okay mm -hmm. i can't have you fucking right <laughs> right so then i but i remember asking him he just wanted a black fender strat American friend or strap. That's a clean they, guitar. And they had one like right there in a pot, you know? 
and I remember buying it for him and going and taking it to him and and uh I met him in the Target parking lot and he rolled up and I don't think he believed I was going to give him that guitar until he got there and then I don't think that he even believed that the guitar was going to be American I think he kind of thought I didn't know what I was talking about <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you know I mean, what I mean well I can see that if he's yeah. a guitar guy I like yeah he's him. a guitar guy and um, I'm a bounty hunter. Yeah, he's like, what does this fucking guy know, right? Do you like, know what a guitar is? He's probably in there listening to, you know, the Dead Kennedys or something like that, <laughs> thinking of this fucking guy. You know what I mean? But anyways, and, and he, so, because when he pulled it out, he he was literally like, oh, this, dude, I, this is like a guitar you keep your whole life. And I'm like, yeah, if you don't take it, I'm taking it, you know? Maybe <laughs> so, a deal, bro. <laughs> so I said to him, yeah, I go get this fucker away before I just, just decide to keep this thing, you know? And, but um, I'll tell you what, uh, I have done some really cool shit. I have a story that I'm going to tell you guys. Um, you know, let's talk about some of the ones I'll tell. Okay, so I, I I'm I have one about a Christmas one where we decimated a family, and then because of the arrest, and then we ended up uh, learning how to serve and and serve them back and help them and and how hardcore. That's when I came to terms with how hardcore my profession was on humanity. Everything has cause and effect. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I've got one where I've been ran over twice. That's the one I was going to tell you. <laughs> I've been waiting. That's on the burner. We talk about the ones that, you know, where I got tasered in the hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> Get <all of> you. <laughs> but this was, this was, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe we got more real than we ever have. And what's well, all real. It's fuck all real. off. You know what I mean? It's all, uh, well, who do you mean? What the fuck off? Who says that? I what, know, right? Tell me fuck off. You, it's, it's all real. Yeah, okay. None of it is scripted. It's yeah. all real. It's all real. Um, okay, so you tased yourself in the hand. Let's see, what other, what other things you got? What else you got? Oh, we had lists burn? of stuff. Well, I, give, me, I, give, me the, give me the hot points. Well, what about the time I locked my arm to some guy's foot and threw the keys in the bushes? You told us that one already. No, -uh, we never aired that. Cause you fucked the audio up. It's real. <laughs> this is all real. That's right. Randy <laughs> fucked the audio up. This is all real. We don't do do overs and takeovers. It's, it's one and done. Okay. So home dude over here trying to be a quitter. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit famished today. I'm feeling famished. Slightly oh, famished. God, I got hit with such an anxiety attack. It was hardcore. <laughs> over, I mean, over. I mean, and there was take no into audience. Account. Take into there account. There was no audience. If I was on stage, the 19 I pounds just of caffeine and sugar you've had today. Fuck. I know. Yeah, I don't know why my fucking heart's going a million miles now. I just can't. I just can't seem to figure it out. I haven't slept. No edib uh, Lots of edibles. Sugar, caffeine. You know yeah. the normal. But you can't give me another take. The normal date. Because That's the thing because, is, you can't cut me and give me another take. Given the nature of the program, mm -hmm. I don't think it's fair to the viewers. Well, we're to gonna give put it out there, right? I'm not. I'm not touching any of it. <laughs> I'm not touching. Not touching it a thing. I don't even want to see this one. Well, you're gonna have to. I know. You're gonna have to. I'm not touching any of it, okay. because because then now we can be like, oh god, you know, we all thought we put Eric on his pedestal, but he's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh. all right, all right. How much time do I have? Oh, I don't know. What do I got in a twenty-five? I'll give you, I'll give you three more minutes to wrap this up. Three more minutes to wrap this up. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Eric Scott talks a lot. Thank you so much for having us. Random and Reckless Entertainment gives us this. Brainstar Media. Use your brain. Be a brain star. Donuts to depression and oh, craziness. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> you did that in 45 seconds, motherfucker. We out. Peace. <laughs>